My name is Chef Fran, and today we are making a meatball surprise. Most people, if they're meat lovers or they eat meat, they love meatballs. And that's such a quick dish to make, affordable, and surprise because in here we like to add our own little twist to everything. And so we're gonna do that at our twist. And I want to change it up and not do spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs, right? Because it's typical to do spaghetti and meatballs. So I'm doing fettuccine and surprise meatballs. Here are our ingredients. So first up, we're gonna add our Montreal season, all of it. Okay. Next up, we're gonna add our, this is our onion powder. Then we have our garlic powder. That's good. We're gonna add our Italian seasoning. When I get into our, start putting in our garlic, our fresh garlic. Then we're gonna add our fresh onions. We want our meatballs to remain soft and succulent and not dried. So this really kind of helps keep it nice and moist. And let's go into our carrots being here. Carrots gives it like that little sweetness. And we will put our bell peppers here. It's another thing that helps keep our meatballs nice and juicy and moist. And so, let me just mix these all together. So I just basically flattened my meat almost like a mini slider. So I could take my mozzarella cheese and my spinach in here and just kind of close it back up, hide it back up in here. And I'm gonna just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. It's our meatball surprise. So when you bite inside, you'll have this nice gooey cheese and your vegetable of your spinach in here. So we're gonna do some more. Now, you obviously know when you cook ground beef, if it has a fat ratio in it like 80, 20, 85, 15, 90, 10, you know, that smaller portion is generally the fat. You know, that's what actually makes your meat taste really great is the fat. You know, like the steak, they have the fat and it's the marbling. And the ground beef, you know, the fat is what gives you that juiciness. So your meatballs is going to shrink a little bit because of the fat reduction. So here we go. Got a spinach here. We put our meatballs here. And we're gonna cover it up. Okay, so here's our fettuccine pasta. And actually, this is how I usually get my pasta in. I kind of like move it around in the pot. It's my own way of doing things. You don't have to do it this way. I don't want to break it up, so I kind of want to keep them long still so that's why i was trying to get them in the pot that way um, so now what i try to do since um i'm trying to get in the pot the long way is that now i try to always i did put some himalayan salt in here um it's like the only time to like really season your pasta um you should read i like my pasta al dente
trying to prevent them from sticking. I'm removing my fettuccine out of the pasta water. This is our meatballs. We actually decided to just put it in the air fryer and let it cook there. And so now I'm going to transfer it and put it in our sauce. Um, my own sauce that I made that we're now going to let it simmer in the sauce. And this is our pasta. I want you to see our meatballs and our sauce. Our wonderful, delicious meatball in our basil sauce. Our meatball surprise in our sauce. Look how good that looks. And then we're gonna have it with our fettuccine. We're gonna be good to go. Here's our fettuccine with our pasta sauce, a homemade pasta sauce with our meatball surprise, which was stuffed with spinach and fresh mozzarella cheese. And we just topped it with a basil leaf and some grated parmesan. Well, here is our beautiful fettuccine pasta with our homemade sauce and our stuff, our meatball surprise, which was stuffed with spinach and a spinach leaf I had put in it with fresh mozzarella. And you get to see the cheese right here from the fresh mozzarella. Here's our fresh mozzarella cheese. And of course, here's our fettuccine. We just topped it off with a fresh basil leaf and some grated Parmesan. So let's dig in. Hmm. Oh, the sauce is so yummy. Wish I had some bread to like Dipping it. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna now taste our meatball surprise. <laughs> Excited for this, full of vegetables. Look at that mozzarella right here. Look at that, look at that. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The veggies make it so flavorful. The meatballs. So tender. Flavorful because of the vegetables. I just whirl. Mmm. This is easy to make. Listen, if you don't want to stuff your meatballs and make it a surprise, you don't have to. You can make meatballs where you're comfortable. But cooking is all about reinventing the wheel, creating a new wheel, as I always say. It's about passion, it's about love. It's about what makes you happy, what's enjoyable to your palate and your loved one's palate. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can know every time we upload a new video and share. I want to thank you for hanging out with us today. It really means a lot to me that you.